Crystal here with Art Beads, and I have Cynthia who's going to show us how to make the Trillium bracelet using the Weber's pliers. Okay, let's do this. So for this bracelet, I'm using the Art Beads Designer Wire Blend, and we have a beautiful one here. And what is great is you already have the length that you need, it's about 6 inches. So I'm going to start by using the round mandrel, and I'm using the smallest one and I'm making first a loop like that. Then I'm taking the triangle mandrel and I'm using the smaller part too. And you want to make sure that your loop is in the middle inside the tool. And then you push the wire against the triangle, open it, and direct the wire under the loop. And then you close, you give a little tap to make it strong. Now we're going to do the second triangle. So I'm taking, trying to take the wire here, and I'll push a little this way. Again, push the wire with your finger around the triangle, open, and bring the wire inside. Tap a little. Now we want to make the second loop here, and we want it to be as parallel as the first one. So that's why I'm bringing my tool against the loop. And I'm using the small mandrel and I'm making it around here. Take the mandrel out, put it back in, and finishing the loop. Now I can cut my wire here. Oops, <laughs> sorry for that. <laughs> and then it's just a matter to bend everything like that and to place everything together and you take your triangle again and you flat it. That's it. That was easy to make and super fast. Great. So you make a bunch of triangles mm -hmm. and then what else do you do from and there? Then we need some jump ring. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you how to make jump ring and I'm using another color, really beautiful gold color. So you put in a mandrel and you just turn and push with your thumb. So twist, twist, and push with your thumb. You kind of direct the wire against the tool. Like that. Sometimes it's a little hard to take the wire out of the mandrel, so you just have to twist it a little. This one I did pretty tight. And then I just need to cut to make the jump ring here. So I'm cutting one, and I have one jump ring, and another one. So it's really, really easy to make. That's great. So what's the next step? The next step is the epoxy clay. So you're going to put epoxy clay inside the hole here, and then you add a chaton. And you want to let it cure for 24 hours. And what's our last step? And the last step, it will be to make the clasp. So let me show you how to do it, and I'm taking another one. So this time you take your chain nose pliers, and you want to make a little loop, like that. Then you're taking your mandrel, and like an ear wire, you want to use this bigger one, bigger loop. And I push my wire against it. Then I'm going to use the triangle using the smaller part, and you want to put, you don't want to go out this way, you want to put a little of the wire inside. Make sure that it's, everything is straight, like that, and you push the wire again. Open it, and you push it in back here, and again, I'm giving a, a little tap. Now I want to make the loop inside, using the smaller part, making my loop, going out and finishing it. Like that. Let me run it a little more. And then cut the wire. And now the only thing that you need to do is to twist the wire to put in, in place. Let's 
see it this way. I always get a little confused which way to twist it. I think you have to make a few of them, don't you, before you end up with the perfect ones? Because yes. I know I did. <laughs> you do. I'm not super happy with this one. So but you make a couple more. Yes. <laughs> and then it will look better. Oh. And then again, the same as the other one, you can put a little more uh, ball of clay here with a chaton. And on the other side of the bracelet, like on this one, I did some more jump ring. And then you just hook with your clasp, like that. Oh, that's great. And there you have the Trillium bracelet using the Weber's pliers. Yes. Thanks, Cynthia. You're welcome.